Okay, Coach Bergman, uh, you avoided me at the Ohio State Tournament, but we're good now. I came to your camp. Uh, congratulations on a team title for you guys at Genoa. Thanks. Uh, you guys do, you had a pretty good season. Yeah. Okay, 29-0. and 0. You guys won the, the, the dual title in Ohio in Division Three, and then you won the team title. Wasn't close in either, any of them, right? What goes into that, and how, to, how are you guys able to you know, hold it together? Tough Ironman tournament for you for the yeah. start. That's a tough way to start the season, yeah, first things first. Those but you, you go yeah. over here, right? Yeah, last few years, yeah, I've been, been active there. Why do you think you need to go to the Ironman? You know, yeah, you Ironman you know, tells you right now where you're at, what you need to work on. Uh, you know, you're seconds away from uh, a match going in your favor or not. So those, those uh, matches made a huge difference for us and gave us a good starting point to improve on. You look at the, the, when the success, though. Your community has jumped all over it, man. First state title in school history in anything. Yeah. You know, for a team, that's pretty incredible, right? Yeah. What's the community sport meant to you? Yeah, I mean, our, our, our mayor, our school system, our superintendent, and uh, athletic director, uh, all, all been really supportive, and uh, they jumped all over it and with police parades and uh, send-offs, and um, they organized a senator to come and road signs. I mean, it's been overwhelming. Our boys are really humbled by it all. We're, we're touched. You as a coach, though, you know, you're, you haven't been doing this forever. You know, this no. is your sixth year, eighth year? Uh, just finished seventh. Finished your seventh year, going into your eighth year. You got a state title. A lot of guys coach for 30, 40 years, don't get a state title. Yeah. What's it mean to get it so early in your coaching career? Well, it's it's not about me. I mean, it's about all these guys. I mean, we're standing on the shoulders of everyone before us. Um, you know, my uncle, my, my father, and a lot of people like you in my life that, that have worked uh, and showed, showed us the way. And so we're just kind of continue it you know going blue collar way you guys are super blue collar there's a road construction company like three miles down the road we were sharing some stories today yeah i might have got beat up in the yard one yeah. day by your uncle john but yeah. you know when you look at that blue collar mentality of the bergmans you know it's gone for for four generations now starting with henry your great grandfather and what's that mean to know that you guys can hand that down to kids and that's something you can really take and apply you're in an industrial area we're in the rust belt right yeah automotive industry is yeah. huge here in the toledo area they make the jeep the iconic right, jeeps right. made right down the road. What's uh, it like having the blue collar mentality here? Yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's life lessons that hard work can solve anything. And I think we've we've wrestling teaches that more than anything else. Uh, we have road construction to help reinforce that in the summertime with wrestling it's in terrible. the wintertime. Terrible yeah. times, by the way. Yeah, I want you to know uh, that. we're excited. We're doing our like uh, wrestling photo shoot uh, with. Paul and H.W. Bergman uh, at the last day of camp. So Wait a minute. Paul's going Paul's to let you guys. He's doing a, a green and red paver. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. It's that all would good. be awesome. I enjoy it. That yeah. would be so good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so your, your cousin Paul is a coach at O'Carver, yeah. the yeah. rival. Okay, so I don't yeah. think a lot of people get the whole backstory to it. Two years ago, we did a video, and I asked if it was yeah. an awkward family family interaction. You guys edged O'Carver out with Lamangi with getting a pin, yeah. and you took the runner-up over them. This year, I mean, it wasn't even a contest. You know, you blew them out of the water. You guys have made strides. You've put space in between you and them. What do you got to do? You know, you got to you have six state placers coming back, three state finalists, and three thirds. Where does it go? Does it fall off the cliff after that? How do you how do you do it? What do you do to maintain this program in the level? Yeah, well, we got some great biddy coaches, uh, middle school coaches, and you know we're constantly trying to recruit in the hallways, get kids out. Um, you know, our biddy program's healthy. We got 70 kids. Um, middle school, we're trying to boost it up in the mid 20s is our goal each year. So you know, we got Joe Zebold in the building. He's uh, charismatic. One and, of the best humans yeah, on the planet. Exactly. Let's get that straight. Exactly. Top five human on the planet Earth for me. Hands down. Top, I'm going to say Top it. three for me. This guy's an incredible <laughs> guy, right? Yeah. Just a good dude, so right? We're, try, we're getting kids out and, uh, you know, hopefully success breeds success and we can continue the tradition. How many years has Coach Z got left in teaching? He can retire soon, can't He's he? getting close. He's got three. He's Are got you serious? Three left. Coach yeah. Z's done in three years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel so old. I know. <laughs> I remember when he started at Danbury like 30, 30 years ago, right? I've Crazy heard a lot stuff. of stories. Crazy <laughs> stuff. But, you know, you look at this, but it is incredible to keep this level up, right? Because you've had a lot of success in Northwest Ohio. You've extended it nationally, obviously. Dylan. Dylan. Dylan is the center point of all this. He's what it's all been built around. And not being like, you know, Dylan's the only guy you care about, but, like, how much has he done and raised the level of everybody else? Yeah, Dylan. Dylan's definitely uh, leads by example. He's uh, become more vocal, and uh, people want to be around him. Uh, the Sanchez's, the Manjis, Cantos's, um, you know, Morgillos. There's a lot of great families involved that have rallied behind each other, and it's been something special to watch. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's 
neat to see Dylan go to Ohio State and we're looking forward to seeing where the other boys end up here this fall making commitments to um, some places hopefully division one level all right, X factor for me is Noah, your heavyweight. This dude's yeah. a freak. I just he's a mutant, yeah. big, gigantic, athletic guy. Yeah. Um, kind of out of nowhere. Yep. Third yeah. in Division Three in Ohio. Where do you pull an X factor like this? Is that a is that a hallway recruit by Coach Z? It was Z? a hallway recruit for an ice cream sandwich. Come on. Uh, to try wrestling out for one day. No way. Yeah, yeah, freshman year. Freshman he, year. he started as a freshman. Yeah. He takes third in the he state played, as a junior. Yep. He played basketball in seventh and eighth grade. Uh, so freshman year wrestling is his first year. Who made that deal with him? We, we all did. We just yanked him out of the hallway. I mean, it wasn't like, uh, yeah, I mean, I have ice cream in my uh, freezer in my school room. So it's where we had a party and it was leftover. <laughs> so, it literally sounds like a made-up story, but no, I'm guessing I'm it's not. It's real, right? <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'll tell you the same thing. All right, you got one of the most, uh, you know, you've taken a lot from your dad, right? A, yeah. lot, of, a lot of the signage and, and this stuff over here, right? We're gonna do a quick tour of that, okay. but man, it's, it's it's incredible. It's creative, and I want to be in this room every day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I want to be in this room every day. All right, let's let's do a quick tour, right? All right yeah.